What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad to have you with us today. So today I want to discuss something that I've been thinking about and it is Greg Doucette's Harder Than Last Time. He's gotten a huge amount of popularity on the internet as of late and it's his catchphrase Harder Than Last Time. You'll If you go to his comment section and you just look stronger than last time harder than last time, everything better than last time. That's kind of the, the meme and thing that's going on. So if you don't know who Greg Doucette is, you are literally living under a rock. He is one of the fastest growing internet sensations in the bodybuilding world as of late. And as a result of that, there's a lot of hate coming his way. You know, he does a lot of natty or not videos. Uh, to his defense, most of his videos are about food and nutrition. And he's in insanely entertaining, so definitely, if you don't know who he is, you need to go check him out. Coach Greg, uh, Greg Doucette. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to discuss his harder than last time. So, like, a lot of people, like, overcomplicate. They're like, oh, i got to do everything harder than last time. And they're like, well, you can't possibly do that. Because if you, like, let's say you did 225 for 10 reps. And the next workout, a week later, you do 225 for 10 reps. And you're like... Well, crap, I can't go harder than last time. Yes, you can. And that's what Greg Doucette's point is. You can go harder than last time. How do you do it? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. So like with me, if I'm doing like 135 on the bench press, and let's say I get 70 reps with it. So if this time I did 70 reps, there's one of two things that's going to happen. I'm going to either do 71 reps or I'm going to do 70 reps or less, and then I'm going to half it, and then I'm going to rep it out as many times as I can, and then I'm going to half it, and I'm going to rep it as many times as I can. I'll throw in a drop set, or I could do 70 reps and then rest pause and hold it off of my chest for as long as I can. Just something to mix it up, and can you go harder than last time? Absolutely. You could do 10 of your 20 reps every, like, let's say every 10 reps, you do a slow controlled rep. So slow, controlled, and then after your 10, you go, you do your 10, and then you do 10 more slow and controlled, and then that way. So like a lot of people are like overcomplicating everything. It's like when people ask me how to bulk, and I say, okay, well, don't be afraid of eating everything. I say literally eat everything. And then they're like, uh, well, you can't actually eat everything because if you ate everything, then you wouldn't have any more food. And I'm like, Ugh. Don't be an idiot, okay? Don't be an idiot. Look, if you eat all your food, then that would mean you'd have to go to the grocery store every single day to replenish all your food. Is that doable? Hell no. Who would want to do that? <laughs> so like, when I say eat everything, I literally mean don't limit yourself on what you can eat when it comes to bulking. I mean like, it's the same thing as harder than last time. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're not trying to create anything new. Greg Doucette is giving you a literal cat, you know, catch-all if you do harder than last time, every time, no matter what it is, no matter what intensity variable you put in there, you will progress. Why? Because muscles respond to overload. That means heavier than last time, longer than last time, stronger than last time, more reps, more volume, more everything. You know, and even if you don't do re more reps or more volume, you can make those reps more intense, which is a different stimulus. Or you can change the angles. You, I mean, the world is your oyster. I would never recommend you do just one exercise all the time, and that's all you would ever do. You know, for for like the bench press, you do this angle all the time. Monday, this angle. Bench press, this angle. No variance. That and just. You're only going to get so far in your muscular growth. And what's funny is, like, I'm one of the weakest bodybuilders I know. Um, and before Greg Doucette came out with Harder Than Last Time, I was continuously doing what Greg Doucette speaks about. It's just it wasn't a meme or a phrase at the time, Harder Than Last Time. It's something I believed in, and that's why I may not be very strong, but I'm able to add tremendous amounts of muscle over long periods of time, whereas other people will add real quick and then they'll just plateau and stop. I've never really stopped growing. I'm still growing as I am and I'm approaching my genetic limit as far as muscle growth for, you know, all that stuff. But harder than last time, it's just a way, don't overcomplicate it. It's a way that you can progress 
with progressive overload for a long period of time. As long as you are working hard every single workout and you're pushing it just a little bit farther each time, no matter how you do that, that's up to you, you're gonna make gains and you're gonna achieve your goals in the gym. Don't overcomplicate it. So it was a little bit of a rant. Didn't wanna make this video too long. Just wanted to voice my opinion on that. Uh, and of course, if you don't like my opinion, then uh, I'm sorry and I still hope we can be friends. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for your time. Every minute you spend here means the world to me. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your life with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Watch the two videos that are going to pop up here. Subscribe to the channel. Do all that stuff. Like the video, comment, share, subscribe. Love you. Have a great day, and we will see you soon. <music>